in the wake of Halloween clashes in Hong Kong that saw police fire tear gas, breaking up crowds of massed anti-government protesters. A huge march is being planned for Saturday. The rally has already been barred by police, but similar bans have been ignored. Over five months of sometimes violent unrest in Hong Kong. Out of concern about public safety, public order, and protection of rights and freedoms of others. Police have granted permits to two other planned pro-democracy rallies. As for Saturday's banned march, prominent pro-democracy activist Joshua Wong has called for 100,000 people to take to the streets just days after he was disqualified from running in local elections. Now, I become the only candidate banned from running in November's district council election. The decision to ban me from running office is clearly politically driven. For months now, demonstrators calling for greater democracy have been pushing back against what they believe is China's creeping influence over Hong Kong. China denies meddling with the city's freedoms and has accused foreign governments like the U.S. and the U.K. of interfering. This week, Hong Kong's leader said the unrest is hurting the city's economy and new government numbers show that for the first time since the 2008 financial crisis, Hong Kong slid into recession in the third quarter.